Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, we are a group from UITM Chawangan Terengganu Campus to Uptumun, UITM CTKD. And we would like to present to you our project entitled Climb the Corporate Ladder CTCL Virtual Board Game. So, we are from Faculty of Business and Management from UITM CTKD. The first one member is Nor Laila Ibrahim. Second is Azina Shamsuddin. The third one is me, myself, Marhab Dugafa. The fourth one is Dr. Nick Fakrul Hazri, Nick Hassan. And the fifth one is Nor Cahaya Johar. Alright, we go on to the uh, game background. It is an online game-based learning method to enhance students' learning experience through the use of technology. It is designed based on a hierarchy of authority level in an organization. The questions in the game are based on management theories and principles that reflected on the four functions of management and the levels of authority in an organization. The game can be downloaded to, to a mobile device such as a tablet or a smartphone and can be played um, a maximum of five players at once. Okay, now we go on to the game history. So it, uh, teaching can be effectively delivered through some other fun methods than in classroom with this game. And it requires active participation which involves uh, two-way communication between the students and their educators. Students will be assigned as a worker and should try to climb as high as they can in the management level. Besides that, they can experience real situation in the organization. The most important part is uh, this project was upgraded from previous offline board game method since 2019 to a digital game now in 2021. Okay, so this is the video of our pilot test which was conducted on November 2019. Enjoy! As you can see, it is fun. It is also engaging for the students to uh, connect with the group members and also it gives an enhanced learning experience as well. Understanding of theory by Douglas McGregor. <laughs> our pilot project. Alright, so uh, with that pilot project, we have achieved uh, the bronze medal in International Pitching Innovation Competition 2020, which is also known as IPIC 2020. This is our certificate of bronze prize. Okay, we, all, we also won the silver medal in second Kelantan International Learning and Innovation Exhibition, which is Kiliax 2019. This is our silver certificate of award. Okay. Next, we go on to the game flow. So this is the dashboard, uh, the interface where admin or lecturer can add user, view user, add session, view session, generate report after the game is completed. And this is the manage session interface where they can create game session and it allows for multiple sessions to be conducted parallelly. Okay, so this is the dashboard and this is the manage session screenshot interface. Okay, the third one is to add a new session. To create a session, the system admin or lecturer is required to enter the session name, start and end dates, and also the maximum number of players. Next, the system admin or lecturer can then add users into the game session. The maximum number of players is five people for each session. So you can add here to manage the users. To add a new session is here, all right? Next, we go on to uh, when to add a new user, the admin or lecturer needs to fill in the user's details such as name, email address. Then he or she must assign a password and role to the user. Okay, after that, the user or students will receive a link via email that leads to this landing page. Okay, this is the pop-up window that uh, will ask for the student's ID. Then they, need, they will need to enter after they receive the link. All right? Okay, next is the main interface. This is the main interface. The, on the right hand side is the chat box where it allows users to communicate with one another. And on the left hand side is the main board itself, as you can see here. 
Alright, before the game, uh, all the tokens of all five players, if there are five players, will be here at the start box. Okay. Okay, next is the game flow. Okay, deciding the turn. Each player must throw the dice as you can see here in the interface. There's a dice there. To make, uh, play with the highest score on the dice will start the game. Okay. Next, as player 1 gets the question, the question will, be, will pop up on the interface here. They must answer the question by choosing the right answer, then click the submit button. Alright. Okay, so that's how the game works on the tablet or on your handphone. Okay, game flow. Next, after submitting the answer, the pop-up window will notify whether the answer is correct or incorrect. As you can see in the screenshot here, of course, the answer is correct because it says congratulations. Okay, next, the token will then move when player 1 answers the question correctly. According to the marks assigned to the question, if the player answered incorrectly, they will stay at their spot and then the next player will take turn. So if the question is one mark, they will move, move one uh, point. Okay. Next, the winner. When one of the player reaches the top position, which is the CEO, the game is completed. A pop-up window will display the names and rankings of all players. As you can see here, congratulations, we have finished the game. And ranking 1 to 5. And the report. At the end of the game, system admin of actual can generate a report uh, to identify the winner and the game is over. So this is the report page. Okay. Okay, next is novelty. Okay, since this is a uh, teamwork or uh, not really teamwork, it's a game uh, to compete against each other, each other to reach the highest level. Okay, not only that, it makes learning fun and interesting as well. And since it is a virtual game, it can be played just about anytime, anywhere and with anyone as long as you have internet connection. Okay, next is the applicability of the game. It is effective for students enrolled in the Fundamentals of Management course in the university level. It allows educators to teach their students in a more enjoyable manner. Students can interact effectively with their classmates, alright? Uh, since it is a theoretical and dry subject, we need a fun method to keep students' attention and it also encourages students' active participation. Okay, this is our intellectual property, which is the copyright under Business Innovation and Technology Commercialization Center, which is Bitcom. This is our reference number, and this is the letter. All right, the level of impact. The game can be used by educators and students at the tertiary level, not just UITM, but also throughout all colleges and universities across Malaysia and even abroad. All right, since it is a virtual game, it contributes to a cleaner environment and also less pollution. So, lesser carbon footprint for our planet. Right, that is all from us. I hope uh, you had fun uh, listening to our project. So, uh, thanks for watching. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.